how can we be advocates, assist white women and men for the LGBTQ communities just on a daily basis? For one, when there are so many initiatives out there, but I feel it ultimately needs to have a financial component because if I am intellectually richer, but I'm just as poor materially, I'm not going to be able to achieve a standard of decent living that should be equitable for all. So sometimes we do feel good activism, we feel good after it, but the measurability of our impact is very scarce. So for me, it's looking at projects that have to do with particularly economic empowerment or to bring that up to the radar of considerations for projects. So there are different things you can do, like you can sponsor different children or people. I feel that money is a great equalizer in this sense, because there's a direct correlation between accessibility to education, safe spaces, things of that nature, because talking a good talk is not going to help nobody walk it. So for me, it's where do you put your money at? That's part of the commitment. The other thing is look for tangible change. You don't want just the lingual on the surface level of a policy to change and then call yourself inclusive and you did it. It's what can be done better? What can help somebody achieve greater empowerment? Maybe it's to help them find greater jobs, higher paying jobs, jobs in fields that they actually want to do, as opposed to be used by the system to fill in jobs that nobody else wants to do. And then, oh yeah, we're inclusive because now we have you know non-binary and queer people doing it. So I think there's a level of intention and then you automate it. Like for me, there are different sponsorship that I have. I put my money there, it's automated. That's part of my integrity. Then when there is an initiative that I can support, I can help them put together that socioeconomic agenda, or I can bring that up to their consideration, or I can just invest in initiatives, volunteer here and there. It needs to be an action verb. It cannot be just, I feel good and I'm inclusive. And even the word ally, the community would tell you if you are. It's not a self-appointed moniker that you can have to sure. appease your fragility. That's not how it works. And it's how you raise, it's how you parent. Do you speak about this with your family? Do you educate them about it? And when you do, does that change how you do what you do as a family? There's so many different ways that it becomes organic. Do you volunteer with your kids in different centers? If you're an educator, can you bring what your work to a different youth queer space? Like for me, there's an evolution where you start is going to be individualized, but when you land it needs to be scalable. So for me, when I was working at university, I was coaching the youth in a center. Then after my shift, I found this beautiful space and I would take them physically and that would be part of the education, bring them physically there. You need to go the extra mile. Doesn't even need to be complicated, but you can't just settle for a cookie answer than to feel good in your fragility about your contribution. 